guys, this is Jen and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my second episode of K-Beauty Reviews with Jen. I know that it has been a very long time since my first episode, but a lot of you guys requested for it to be about Korean face masks and it has taken me a really, really long time, honestly, to try out so many masks and get my opinion of them and really get the research done about it before doing this video. So thanks for understanding. So today I'm going to be showing you guys basically all these masks. These are going to be the best sellers or my personal recommendations from low end, mid end, high end and even some other ones on the side not just for your face but also for your hair or sort of specialized areas on the face so hopefully this comes in handy and helpful and let's begin with the review so just a little bit of background information FYI before we begin. As you guys probably know, Korean sheet masks are a definite compulsory in the Korean skincare routine. It should be incorporated regularly and in Korea, usually Korean women or even men use it once or twice a week at least or one a day. There's even a saying in Korean that talks about like one mask a day. Each mask has different functions. It could be targeting anti-wrinkling, it could be soothing, hydrating, moisturizing, collagen boosting, so many different functions and it's good to just have a couple so you can pick and choose for the day and what you feel like. For example, if you've been out in the sun all day, you'll definitely want to try a soothing mask and you'll definitely feel the immediate difference. The way to retain your skin's youthfulness is really to maintain its moisture levels constantly throughout the day. So that's what like typical moisturizers and what a skincare regime does. But what a mask does is it helps to actually give you an intense treatment of that moisture retention on your skin for about like 5 to 15, 20 minutes depending on the mask and how long it takes to absorb. And each mask has a different texture. So the more affordable, cheaper ones will use a little bit less of a moisture retaining type of material such as cotton. Or if you go a little bit more high end, it just becomes more and more denser, a little bit more able to retain the moisture so it doesn't escape outside for a longer time and with more effectiveness. So it goes from cotton to even gel, hydrogel, microfiber, and all sorts of different materials so that's what you're really paying for you're also paying for the ingredients and the quality of the ingredients and as you guys probably know whatever you put on your skin it absorbs and is basically eaten by the body so it's important to be aware of this and try to go for a little bit more quality products out there by the way guys there are a ton of other types of masks as you guys know there are like foaming masks pore clay masks but today I'm going to be focusing obviously on sheet masks so if you have any requests on anything in particular kind of genre of skincare leave it down in the comments below for me to do in the future so with that said let's begin with the actual products so let's begin with Rose Store products today. In Korea, pretty much all Rose Store brands carry their own brand of face sheet masks. But if I were to choose two brands for you to go and check out their masks of, it would definitely Innisfree. They have a huge range of like different, sounds wrong to say this, but flavors, I guess. I mean, there's like acai berry, vitamin C, green tea, all the different functions for what you feel you need on the face. And they're really, really affordable. You can buy them in packs and you can use them with like not too much of a burn on your wallet. And something else that I recommend is Tony Moly because this is highly, highly popular and it is actually really good. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of snail products. If you're an avid Korean skincare fan, then you probably have heard of it, but some of you guys are probably new to it. Don't freak out. They actually do use snail essence and it's meant to be excellent for your skin. You leave this one on for about 20-30 minutes though. Something else I recommend is the Carezone brand and this is not really low end but it's something you can find from Olive Young stores, Watson's or any of those pharmacy stores. Carezone is a brand that I have personally loved in the past for my skin. It's a really great low to mid end brand that has really formulated their skincare products really well for sensitive or acne prone skin. So Carezone has really nice gel masks that I recommend you to check out as well. Now there is something that you have to watch out for with face masks. Sometimes it just feels like you've just got fragrance on your skin and it's sitting there. It feels very chemically and actually sometimes your skin can feel irritated afterwards. That tends to happen with the cheaper face masks. So all of the ones that I've recommended are ones that don't have that kind of effect on your skin. I personally hate it when I've done a face mask and it gives you that kind of irritated feeling. So just to let you guys know, I have filtered all those ones out. So moving on to the mid-end ones. These ones are actually the official best sellers from Korea, minus this one because this one is new. I just wanted to mention it. And then of course the Dr. Jart ones, which you can get in America. Dr. Jart doesn't go into the official top six bestsellers. These ones here, so Papa's Recipe, Bombi Honey Mask, 
the SMP Bird's Nest Aqua Ample Mask. Sorry, I'm reading them upside down. I'll have the labels going through the screen. The NMF Aqua Ring Mask. They have a huge range of masks and this one is the special collaboration with Lion Friends, which is so cute. And then the Aqua Ringer by Leaders in Solution. Leaders is a really, really famous, probably the top three or maybe the top two. This Jejun one is actually quite interesting. It's a brightening black mask. So the mask itself is actually black. It brightens your skin and it moisturizes and it comes with three different steps. The first step is a cleansing foam. Second step is Jejun Vita Snow Essence. So this one actually comes with their own essence itself, which is really, really great. And then you go in with the mask which is black and fits really nicely onto the skin and doesn't sort of fall off or anything. I mean, the packaging looks really oldish. It looks like it's for Ajmadur, honestly, but the product itself is really good. So this is probably my second recommendation after my first one, which I'm going to show you guys soon. Then there's also the Dr. Jart ones. They are good quality. This one is really, really high in moisture. It's actually called the Dermask Water Jet Soothing Hydra Solution. Patented ingredient derived from plant glucose and it's also made of fine cellulose fiber, which is a really good, quite expensive to make material for the mask. We leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes and it's great for just that pick me up moisturization that you need after a long day out or if you've been in the sun and you've got a little bit of irritation. And guys, can we just talk about this packaging? This is so cute. If you check out the NMF line or the Aqua Ringer line, these guys come with all different colors and all different functions. So it's really fun to shop through and find what suits your skin's needs the most. This is just the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> But if I were to really choose something that is our personal favorite, it's definitely the Papa Recipe Bombi Honey Mask. This actually smells like honey and it has a really nice gentle feeling. Some masks actually leave a little bit of residue on the skin and it feels like it's like dead skin sort of peeling off. And I personally really dislike that feeling and I feel like face masks shouldn't do that because that's a sign of it not really absorbing well into the skin. But this one doesn't have that at all. It just really leaves your skin feeling plump, soft, very hydrated, really pleasant. And I think because it has honey in it, it feels very soothing and gentle. So something that I really do recommend, you leave it on for quite a long time though. So it does require like 20 to 30 minutes. It comes with this plastic sheet, which makes it super easy to pull off and it just sticks really well onto the skin. So that's also a sign of a good mask. It's really nice because it doesn't feel sticky and it's just very moisturizing and it's really smooth. The A by Bomb Superpower Baby Doll Mask is actually new to the market and it's actually something that has been made by my own personal hairstylist where I go to. If you guys remember in my previous hair routine video, I talked about my hairstylist being a by Bomb, but I wouldn't mention it if it wasn't good. This one actually comes with three different steps. So there are a couple ones here that also does this. The first step is eye serum. Second step is a brightening soothing cream. And then the third step is the actual mask itself. And I think the eye serum definitely does something great for the face that a lot of other masks don't do, unless it's a specialty eye mask. So I really like this one as well, and it's something that I recommend you guys to check out. Okay, and now moving on to the high-end ones that I recommend from Korean skincare. It would be these three ones here. The first one is the True Whitening Facial Sheet Mask by Belief which as you guys know, is my longtime favorite Korean skincare brand, Belief. Then there's also Hanyu and Sum37. So starting with the Belief, the True Whitening Facial Sheet Mask, I added this one in because not only is the mask good, but it's also whitening. And I know a lot of you guys are going to ask me for my best whitening sheet mask, and it would probably be this one. This one is really cool. You're meant to fold along these two lines like this and then you're meant to press the bottom and pop it through and the product goes straight into the sheet mask down here. The sheet mask is made of organic cotton and it has whitening essence to instantly boost skin radiance and get even skin tone. It's been formulated with sea lavender which lives on the boundary between land and sea protecting the skin from daily stresses. What a nice little explanation, don't you think? 
So this one you apply for 10 minutes onto the skin and even though I'm not really sure if I've seen that much of a whitening effect, this is something that you should definitely use over time to see the difference anyway. And then moving on to Hamnyu over here. Hamnyu is also a high-end skincare brand. So as you guys know, there's a Yulia Wonek. It's an actual uh, skincare product that's actually the line of this. This one is applied for 10 to 20 minutes. You can buy it in a box and it's meant to help with anti-wrinkling and whitening. What I love about it is it's so gentle. It feels like this one but even better in terms of not being sticky at all really soaking into the skin and the skin feels super soft and super plump and smooth afterwards. So I highly recommend this one from the high-end ones and I also love that it has a really gentle scent to it. If you're wondering, this is really great for the winter seasons when you need a pick-me-up and your skin has been feeling a little bit dry or irritated or dull. This is meant to help add strength to the skin surface, moisturize whilst soothing. So yeah, I really think it does do that. This is actually made of fermented rice that they fermented for eight days. Their infamous key ingredient that is contained in their actual skincare product essence. And of course, I can't forget talking about Sum. Guys, do I have to say anything about this? This is honestly the best Korean skincare mask. Sum 37's secret programming mask. So as you guys know, I have been using Sum for a very, very long time in my skincare routine. And although I'm not a huge fan of all of their products, I really do love their Sum Secret Essence Advanced Sync Program. This is my third bottle of it. It is kind of like Korea's version of SK2. It contains fermented rice, but it has a nicer citrusy smell to it and it leaves a little bit more of a stickier feel afterwards. Why am I reviewing this? So basically this mask is made from this. So it's like a concentrate of this. It's a microfiber mask that replenishes moisture and clear radiance to your skin. It's similar to what I say about Hanyu. It's very gentle. It just feels really good. It doesn't have stickiness. It doesn't feel chemically. Just like a really, really good quality mask. It really sticks onto the skin well as well. So you apply this for 15 minutes on your skin and it actually comes with two separate parts for the top half of your face and the bottom half of your face. If there's anyone in your life that wants to try really good quality Korean skincare or Korean sheet masks, this is the one that I recommend you to try and they'll be convinced. So now onto miscellaneous over here. There are so many other types of masks. As you know, there will be like cheek masks, lip masks, eye masks, boob masks, masks for every area of your body. So whilst you're in Korea or if you're shopping for sheet masks, I also wanted to mention that you have to check out these hair masks. It just comes in a cap form, so it's super easy to apply. You don't have to like apply something with a brush on and sit there with like a towel around your shoulders or something. It actually comes with a cap or at least a bag that has a tie-up string. And it definitely does a huge pick-me-up if your hair is dry, if it's dull, and it has blonde hair and different targeted areas for the hair as well. And for my sisters out there who have black pore problems on their nose, this is going to be your lifesaver. A huge recommendation. I actually bought this for my mom and sent it to her as well. So it's the same brand as this one here. It's the Leaders in Solution Blackout Clear 3-Step Kit. And I'm very well aware of those peel-off blackhead masks being really bad for your pores because they actually just make them bigger if you don't shrink them back up again with a pore closing product. But usually it does just open back up and make them worse. This is amazing because it actually works gently and naturally so it doesn't cause more blackheads to appear in the future. I won't go into the technicalities of it, but I highly recommend it. Got step one, which is a black pore heating gel, black pore remover pad, and the black pore tightening mask. If you go through each step really thoroughly, especially this second one, if you actually take your time to really scrub it through, trust me guys, it clears it out like no other. One box comes with 10 masks and in just two uses of this, your nose will be crystal clear. It's dermatologist tested, contains charcoal powder and a list of other things like citric acid, volcanic ash, and I'm pretty sure you guys know, but I haven't been sponsored by any of these brands. So what I'm saying is definitely all honest and it's not biased in any way. But I do really find that adults tend to have the most problem with blackheads on their nose. So really good gift for your parents or for your family. And here's my final product that I want to recommend to you guys. It's the It's Skin Prestige BNI Gold Patch X. So It's Skin is an actual physical store that has basically everything to do with skin and it's just packed with all different types of masks and stuff. So for those who have concerns about crow's feet or 
dark circles or getting fine lines, I'm pretty sure you know that there are single application eye gel patches and eye masks. But this is actually a tub that contains 50 of them. So I think it's 25 pairs. So once you open it up, it actually comes with them lined up and stacked up on top of each other. It comes with a little spatula. These are just so easy to use at nighttime when you're you know, just about to go to sleep and you know, you're reading a book or something, or you're reading your Bible, or doing some QT. Just apply it under your eyes like this and leave it on. They're made of gel and they contain little gold dust and bird's nest extract. It has a very, very nice gentle smell to it and it's really tightening, firming, smooth, silky. I don't know how to explain this, but it feels like it's really, really firming and it makes the skin feel so smooth and so nice. And from all the eye masks that I have tried, these are my personal favorites. A little bit expensive, but definitely worth the investment if you've got any concerns about your eyes or if you want to buy something for your mom. And that about wraps it up for my KBD Reviews episode two on face sheet masks. Needless to say, everyone's personal favorites would be different because everyone's skin is different. So my personal favorites might be different from yours. Make sure to do your own research and just go try and test out things to see what suits your skin. And also guys, if there's anything that you love from Korean skincare sheet masks or any masks in general, share it with us down below so that we all know and we can share in all of this skincare goodness. Anyways, I hope you guys found today's video helpful, useful or fun to watch. And I thank you guys for your support and spending time with me today. Hope you guys liked my hair today. It's the first time that I've done Dutch braids, but I do really like it. Everything's out of my face, so it's really good. So what would you guys like me to do episode three of K-Beauty Reviews about? Leave it down in the comments below. Right now, I'm currently thinking of Korean eyeliners, but if there is anything in particular that you really need to know about right now, leave it down in the comments below and thumbs up each other's ones so that I know and I'm going to choose that one and curate it for the next episode. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you're looking forward to my future episodes. And also make sure to subscribe for more videos about K-beauty in the future from Jen. I would love it if you guys join my Musa family. Also, make sure to follow over on my SNS. I have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I do Snapchat a ton of it. Snapchat is Meej Muse Real and everything else is Meej Muse. So come and follow me if you would like to see what I get up to during the week. So happy skincare adventures and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Come and go by all! I have been using Zoom for a long time, so I'm like, check. Okay. Dollars per fat face mask. I was gonna say fat. <laughs> Is that too much like yeah, <laughs> I can't. Oh. Danke.